What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another requested one, which is the dialogue system. Now Friday Fun doesn't have one of these built in, or at least not too heavily built in. You're gonna have to modify the code a bit, but luckily, Couch Potato 170 has already done that for us and uploaded a template. Which is super great, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description to this as well as their game banana page. Really cool stuff. But you're gonna wanna download this. You're gonna do extract here with whatever zip extract you have. And make sure you don't extract it inside of your mod. That won't go great. So, let's see. There's a few different things to check out immediately. You have the music, so this is where you would put all your dialogue music and stuff. This exists in our own folder too. So you would go ahead and put all your stuff in here. This applies to whenever you want to play music. The same with the sounds, but I'm gonna just take the sound from this one. Just because it's a good di dialogue sound, but you can change it if you'd like. Now, let's quickly go in and see what this dialogue actually looks like in game, just from the example. It loads in. As you can see here, it's playing the music. Ian progresses through the dialogue just as usual. And it also has the custom portrait. Alright, cool. So now we just need to kind of look into how that was made, and we can bring it into our mod. Of course, make sure to credit them when you use this base. Now, first we're going to learn how to make our own dialogue characters. So you can go into Data, Dialogue, and you go to Speakers, and here you have your speakers. So we're just going to copy the speakers folder over into our mod. Ah. Now we have the boyfriend and the dad, and we can look into these to see what they do. Now you can see the name is dad, dad portrait, and all this stuff. So the asset path is directly in your images folder, as always. So go to shared images, and this is where you'd put it. I'd recommend having like a uh, dialogue folder. So then you just add dialogue in front of that. And then you have the animations, which if we take a look at the images provided in the mod, you'll see this is what they have for the portraits. So the enter, talk enter, should be when it fades in. Now, if you wouldn't like animations, you can just go ahead and remove it. I don't personally care for animations, but uh, you can add them if you'd like. I'm gonna rename this to Neo. Reopen it, and we're just gonna set it to Neo and Neo Portrait. Now, for the boyfriend, we can just copy over the boyfriend portrait image and XML if you'd like. But you can also just uh, take an image of him and crop it up into a dialogue image if you'd like. Because, you know, not everyone wants the animations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this with paint.net, which is my general image editor. And I'm going to crop it down here to this. Now we're going to go into... Well, you go to shared, but it seems like actually they generally use images for this, which is completely fine too. There's not too much of a difference, so you can do it in just normal images. Let's just do dialogue. Save this as the boyfriend portrait. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the boyfriend too. Now, heading back into the week one dialogue example, we can go ahead and go into data, dialogue, and conversations. Let's go ahead and copy over Poppy Bow. So this will be writing the actual dialogue that happens. And we're not going to call this Poppy Bow because it's not, you know, for Poppy Bow. We'll call it our song's name, which is Dreaming. 
here we go. Here we can choose our music, which can be any file in our music folder. We can choose our dialogue, and then this will be our text. So let's go ahead and do speaker as Neo. Yeah, so we're going to set our speaker as Neo. Everything can stay the same, and we'll do... Hey. And then we'll do speaker BF. And he'll just say... And he'll just say... Hello. Neo. We'll go back to Neo. And he'll say... This sure is a cool example. And then we don't need this final one, so we can delete that. You can also copy and paste them. If you'd like more lines, obviously. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the Neo portrait into here. Alright, and now we are going to go ahead and actually make the dialogue work. Make it functional. Now we're going to go and go in scripts. You have dialogue and songs. So for dialogue, we're going to want to go ahead and copy this and paste it into our dialogue boxes. And if we go ahead and open this up, we can look at this. If you'd like nice highlighting, you can go ahead and do Control K, K M. And then if you have Hakes installed, you can make it have this nice like little highlighting. If you don't, you can go ahead and do Hakes and install the Hakes uh, Visual Studio Code extension. And obviously this will only work if you're in Visual Studio Code. You can see all the stuff is happening. It's not really that complicated. I would actually recommend looking through it, which I already have, but I recommend doing it just because it gives you such a better understanding of what you are doing. It lets, and it lets you better troubleshoot it if something goes wrong. So check this out. Look at what's happening. Now, if you go ahead and go back into the scripts songs, let's go ahead and add a script for our song. Now, call this your song's name. So that's streaming. Control K, M, takes. And there is a ton of stuff that you need to do. But luckily, you don't actually have to mess with much of this. You just need to read through it and make sure there's nothing to change. For example, we have to change this from Ball Peepo song to Dreaming song. Super needs to be Dreaming. And you have a ton of this stuff. And you can mostly ignore it, but for conversation, you need to start Dreaming again. And that's about it. So just read through all this, figure it out. It's okay if you don't know exactly what it does, but just get a general idea of what this is all doing. Uh, now, if you'd like to play in free play, you can also remove this line. But yeah, let's go ahead and launch the game. Important note before you go into your... You're going to have to add an XML for your portrait. Whether or not it's animated, it still needs one. Just copy Boyfriends or something and rename it. it. It won't actually use it or anything as long as you have animations disabled. Alright, going into our week... It loads up, and then it plays our dialogue, goes away, and we're into our song. How cool is that? So that's it for this tutorial. Please leave a like, subscribe, and bye guys!